Welcome to the Ventus MX4 online training module number four. In this module, I will be discussing how to calibrate the instrument. Industrial scientific calibration policy states that gas detection instruments are life-saving devices. Recognizing this fact, Industrial Scientific Corporation recommends that a full calibration be performed using certified concentration of industrial scientific calibration gases monthly to ensure maximum accuracy. Before every calibration, the user must first zero the instrument in fresh air. To zero the instrument, they must, from the real-time operation screen, press the mode button multiple times until they see the zero screen. The zero screen will show the zero with a slash through it in the upper corner of the display. Once the user sees the zero in screen, they must press the enter button to start the zeroing process. They will now see the flashing clock next to the zero symbol. This lets the user know that the zeroing process has begun. The LEL and toxic sensor will be set to zero. The O2 sensor will actually calibrate to the ambient air at 20.9%. During the zeroing process, the O2 sensor will display its span reserve, which shows the amount of sensor life remaining. Once the zeroing process is finished, a check mark will be displayed in the upper left corner of the display telling the user that the zeroing process has passed. If one of the sensors has failed, then an exclamation point will be shown in the upper left-hand corner. At that point, a corrective action would need to be taken. After the zeroing has finished, pressing the mode button will begin the calibration process. The MX-4 offers two types of calibration. The first type of calibration is a standard calibration. This calibration is ideal if multiple gas cylinders are going to be used. The second type of calibration is the quick cal calibration. This type of calibration is ideal if only one gas cylinder with multiple mixes is going to be used. If the user selects the standard calibration, the first sensor to receive calibration gas will begin flashing along with the gas calibration concentration to apply to that sensor. This lets the user know that the flow of calibration gas may begin. Prior to applying calibration gas, ensure that the levels on the cylinder match the concentration levels that the instrument is expecting to see. Remember that the O2 sensor was calibrated during zero process, so the 19% oxygen in the gas cylinder is primarily used for bump testing. The readings of the first sensor being calibrated will start to increase. Once this process begins, the sensor will automatically calibrate to the previously specified concentration. When the calibration is complete, the display will toggle between the span reserve reading and the P, which indicates a pass. Upon completion of the previous sensor's calibration, the next sensor to be calibrated will begin to flash. Apply the calibration gas based on the type and concentration needed. The readings of the sensor will begin to increase. Once this process begins, the sensor will automatically calibrate to the previously specified concentration. When the calibration is complete, the display will toggle between the span reserve reading and a P which indicates a pass. Upon completion of the previous sensor's calibration, the next sensor to be calibrated will begin to flash. Apply the calibration gas based on the type and concentration needed. The readings of this sensor will begin to increase. Once the process begins, the sensor will automatically calibrate to the previously specified concentration. When the calibration is complete, the display will toggle between the span reserve readings and a P, which indicates pass. 
Once the full calibration is completed, the Ventus MX-4's display will toggle between all sensor span reserves and a P for pass or an F for failure for each individual sensor. Before the calibration process, the user must first zero the instrument in fresh air. To zero the instrument, they must, from the real-time operation screen, press the mode button multiple times until they see the zero screen. The zero screen will show a zero with a slash through it in the upper left corner. Press the enter button to start the zero in process. They will now see a flashing clock next to the zero symbol. This lets the user know that the zero in process has begun. The LEL and toxic sensors will be set to zero. The O2 sensor will actually calibrate to the ambient air of 20.9. When zero is completed, a check mark will be displayed in the upper left corner of the display. Press the mode button to begin the calibration process. Apply the calibration gas. The readings will begin to rise. This increase in readings is a reflection of the sensor's full span. Full span is a measure of the amount of sensor life left. The higher the number, the greater the life. Once the first sensor has stabilized, it will calibrate to applied gas. For a successful calibration, P will appear along with the full span reading. The process will automatically continue with the remaining sensors to be calibrated. Once the final sensor has been calibrated, remove the calibration gas and the instrument will revert back to the real-time reading screen. If the user has selected the Quick Cal option for calibration, the following steps will need to be taken. After zero in the instrument, this screen will be displayed. Press the Mode button to begin the calibration process. The display will indicate which sensors are to receive a calibration and their calibration gas concentrations. The user can now begin the flow of calibration gas. Note the calibration gas cylinder displayed on the screen. Prior to applying the calibration gas, ensure that the levels on the cylinder match the concentration levels that the instrument is expecting to see. Remember the O2 sensor was calibrated during the zeroing process. So the 19% oxygen in the gas cylinder is primarily used for bump testing. At this time, you will see all sensors readings start to increase and respond to the gas. All sensors will simultaneously calibrate to the concentration previously specified. Once the full calibration is completed, the Ventus MX-4's display will toggle between all span reserves and a P for pass or an F for failure for each individual sensor. This video will walk you through the quick calibration process. 
Before the calibration, the user must first zero the instrument in fresh air. To zero the instrument, they must, from the real-time operation screen, press the mode button multiple times until they see the zero screen. The zero screen will show a zero with a slash through it in the display's upper left corner. Press the enter button to start the zero in process. They will now see a flashing clock next to the zero symbol. This lets the user know that the zero in process has begun. Once it is completed, the display will show a check mark up in the left hand corner. Press the mode button to begin the calibration process. Apply the calibration gas and the toxic and LEL sensors will begin to rise. This will continue until all sensors have stabilized. Once stabilized, the instrument will calibrate all sensors simultaneously. When the fuel calibration is completed, the display will toggle between P or F and the final full span readings. Remove the calibration gas and the instrument will revert back to the real time reading screen.